What's up everybody? It's me, Brenna. And today I'm joined by Jeremiah. Um, and today we're going to talk about these lovely boots. These are the Ariat Heritage Elastic Calf Western Boot. So many words, but they're stretchy. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way and we get better. All right, Brenna, we were pretty excited when we found out that Ariat had this elastic calf boot because Hell yeah. so few boots actually fit your calf. So few, like zero. <laughs> no, okay, the elephant boots did. The elephant, but that's a custom pair. That okay. was custom made. Okay. This is a factory boot from a big brand name that finally can fit your calf because we have to go with booties most of the time for you. Most of the time. Because most of the other boots just don't fit your calf. They don't fit. Check or... out any of the other videos that Brenna's in. <laughs> Check out me whining in all of these other videos. <laughs> or we go with something like the uh, the Lane Zivet boots or the Freebird, I think they were the Heritage boots or I forget the name of those, Jackson, something like that. Cole. But the coal with the lace up on the back. So these have no laces, no zippers, not custom made, but they fit. Yes. Very exciting. <laughs> so should we do the rundown? Well, yeah. So the first thing that we want to talk about here is that these are a full grain leather on the outside. You also get to see the beautiful medium round toe. They are a nice 13 inches tall, so they're a pretty tall boot, actually. The other thing that we have to look at is the actual shaft circumference. So this is 15 and a quarter inches, which is pretty dang big. Yeah, so even without the elastic, it seems to be wider to begin with. Yeah, and then the elastic is gonna give you, what, an extra inch and a half, two inches there? Yeah. All the way through on both sides. So this is a hidden, elastic stretch panel that they have behind the pull tabs here. Yeah, and you can see these pull tabs are actually quite, quite large, but behind all of this is the stretch panel. That's kind of nice. Ooh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty into it. So next we have a inch and three quarter heel. So yes. it's not too big, it's not too small, and it is squishy because it's the bantam weight. So it's very light, very flexible, very bendy. However, that does mean that it is not resolable. Yeah. Because it is like the glue construction primarily. Yeah, and if you want to see more about bantam weight boots, I did a video about the Plano, which features a bantam weight for a men's boot, and we get into that quite in detail. Let's finish so I can put these on my feet. Gosh, stay focused. So it is a fully lined boot. You do have a fabric. It's like a caramel faux suede, but it is very soft. I think this will be nice like during the winter. It'll keep you nice and toasty. Mm -hmm. um, and then you do have the ATS removable insole, which actually is like quite jelly and provides quite a bit of support, which is actually more support than I thought because most Western cowboy cowgirl boots are very like flat. But this one actually, you can see, curves up a little bit. And I, yeah. I have flat feet, so when I feel that extra little bit of support in there, I'm really excited about that because there's no way you can fit an orthotic or any kind of like extra insole into boots, so. This also has that fabric lining that sort of uh, lines the shaft on the top of this ATS insole. So it's sort of that warm, cozy feeling that yep. you don't get with a lot of other Ariat boots, at least on the men's side. This is kind of nice. I'm kind of jealous that men's boots don't come like this. Oh, we have one thing. We can have one thing. <laughs> I think it's time for you to show everybody what these look like and explain how they feel. Yeah, man. Let's move on over and try these boots on. Okay, so we have got on the Heritage Elastic Calf Western Boot. And I'm very excited to have them on because they are so lightweight and they fit my calf. There is arch support. I can move around in them. They just really fit nicely. They feel almost like the heaviness of a sneaker. They're very light. It's a very strange feeling to be wearing this much shoe and not feel it. You know when you get a new pair of sneakers and you're just like, you feel like you can run all over the place? 
That's what I feel like in these shoes. And a lot of that actually comes from the bantam weight soles. You get a lot of uh, a weight decrease with that. Um, so you can actually see that my calf fits in these boots. These are just regular skinny jeans, nothing special. Um, and I think that they look really nice. These are really comfortable shoes. I can't stop talking about how comfortable they are. I really like that insole. It's really like supporting. Um, but I think that these look good with a pair of skinny jeans. Um, in the holiday video that you can check out, you can see how they look with a uh, flared jeans. So there's a little bit more, um, like they're narrower at the top. So you can definitely get the whole flare over it. It doesn't look too awkward or weird. So you can really wear these with anything. I also like, I don't think the elastic is really like expanded right now, but you can see how much extra room there is. Like, I can do this. <laughs> There's so much extra room in there. Um, but you can see how it hugs it really nicely. There's also a nice deep V on both sides so that even if um, the elastic is at full capacity, there's still plenty of room for it to just kind of like bow out a bit and make room for your calf. So I think ultimately they look really nice. They look like they they fit the calf. They're able to accommodate for the jean also. So it's not just like so tight and then your leg is sticking out and it's super awkward and weird, but I think they look really nice. I really like them actually with this pair of jeans in particular because I think the black on black looks kind of cool. Um, but I think a blue jean would also be really cool or a dress, um, a pair of leggings. You got options. I love options. Uh, so I think if you're looking for a boot that doesn't necessarily like break the bank but is super comfortable, you could wear it actually every single day because these are light, squishy, comfy, um, and you can wear them with anything. I think if you were looking to get into kind of like the Western boot world and you had bigger calves, I would start with these, honestly. As someone who cannot find shoes that fit for the life of me, have tried on so many boots and been so frustrated. I'm enthusiastic over here. I really like the way that they fit. I think that they just look really nice. Um, the toe is also pretty neutral, so it's not necessarily a, like a snip toe. It's not fully round. It's not um, too big. I think it looks really nice. I think it's so funny that you said that they reminded you of a sneaker because that's exactly the thing that I felt when I tried the Plano at this time last year. And we didn't talk about that. No, not at all. But this doesn't feel quite as stiff as the Plano did on my foot. Did you feel like it was stiff? Because that's one complaint that I had about the Plano, is that even though they were super light with that bantamweight outsole, it just felt like a stiff sneaker. But mm. this leather feels a lot more supple than what the Plano did. Yeah, no, I don't think they're stiff at all. I think they're yeah super bendy. They're, it was easy. You saw me run around. <laughs> This leather feels real nice. You can like barely touch it and it bends. Look, I'm using literally one, two fingers here mm -hmm. and it's it's bending. So I don't think that they were stiff at all. I think they're very flexible. I think that they would be great to wear for long periods of time. I wouldn't actually do any like hardcore work in them. I don't think that they would hold up to a ton of like rough and tumble tear. I think for like an everyday Western wear, I want to have the look, I want to have the the comfort. I think that's what these are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you guys are interested in picking these up, they are going for $199 right now. Um, and Ariat is always doing sales here and there throughout the year. So you could probably pick them up for a nice little discount every once in a while too. How do you feel about that price for this boot? I think that's a good price for this boot. I think they're super comfortable. If you are like me and you're frustrated with the Western industry not really making boots that fit you. Especially in the calf. Especially in the calf. I think it's a good price point. And like you said, they're always doing sales. If you wait long enough, it'll go into, you know, extra sale, extra discount, clearance, whatever. Ask for it for your birthday, for Mother's Day, for... Christmas. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. <laughs> Seriously, like these are really cool. I am gushing about this boot and I don't mean to be gushing about it because it just sounds so lame, but I'm just really excited that they actually fit and I can better understand 
what it's like to have boots that fit because you always get to have this experience. Skinny legs. <laughs> I have skinny legs too. They're just not the right proportion yeah. for an entire industry. That's true. So it's not my fault. No, it is not your fault. And that is part of the reason why you're gushing too is because this is rare for the industry and for you on this channel. We never get to try a boot that actually fits your calf. And I am a 5'2 petite woman. So imagine if there was someone who was even slightly bigger than me, mm -hmm. who was even a little bit taller, but just has a thicker calf. Maybe they're athletic. God forbid someone who does athletics wants to wear cowboy boots. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> right, it's like, we can't be treating people like this. So finally, I would call this boot more inclusive, I guess, because a larger variety of people are gonna be able to feel comfortable in this. It's not squeezing you and so uncomfortable and pushing your leg in weird places and just like, finally, what took so long? So that's why I'm really excited about this. It's not just for me, but for everyone else out there who mm -hmm. is like a normal person, yep. not a stick figure who's six feet tall. <laughs> Hey, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are interested in this boot, the links are in the description. Thank you so much to my beautiful wife, Brenna, for featuring these boots on this channel today. I think this is a really special boot because I know the need is out there. If this is your first time seeing a video on my channel, please subscribe while you're here and we will see you next time. Peace, everybody. Have a good one. I don't know how long we had to waste But we finally got them boots with the white calves, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.